Hello and welcome to another tutorial from iDustrial Revolution and this time we're looking at XFX Insta Transitions. What are they? They're a set of over 70 Final Cut Pro plugins designed to easily add splits to 9x16 vertical videos. They are perfect for Instagram, YouTube Shorts and TikTok videos. Go halves, thirds, quarters, six, eighths, ninths or mix and match sizes. Okay, let's make a three-way split using the plugins. And as you can see, I've got a nice clean timeline, but I have got the browser open. And as you can see, I've got some videos and some photos here. I mean, it'll work with either, so you can mix and match. It's up to you, both work. But what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this picture of this girl trying to make a phone call on a banana. And if I put it on the timeline, the thing I notice are these two black bars, top and bottom. And that's quite important because those will actually show when you come to do the um, split. So I'm just going to get rid of those by going to Spatial Conform and hitting Fill. That's pretty important. Also, it keeps all of the scale parameters at 100%, which is really handy when you need to do any maths when it comes to working anything out. All right, let's open up the effects. And you'll find those if I go Command 5. And you'll find those obviously under XFX Insta Splits. And we've got a load of them in here. We've got loads. There are over 70, including the overlays. And as you can see, they're all labeled. So things like thirds are all begin with threes, quads all begin with fours, etc., ninths and eighths, or whatever they are. But the one I want to look at is the first one, which is 201, horizontal half top. And if I drop that onto the clip, I get an animating in and animating out split. Now, before we go into detail about every control in the inspector, I want to show you split source because this is the really important control in all of the effects. There are four options and I'll show you the difference between all of them. So we're actually on scaled media at the, at the moment, which means it repositions the media in the frame. So as you can see before, if I just turn this off, if you look at her eye line, when we toggle it on, it's repositioned up into the split. So this is kind of, if you want to make up a split of different images. Now, if you want to make a split of the same image, you put that on full frame, and that you can see, if I toggle between the two there, it's just using the split at the top. So what you would do is you make a, another one. So just to prove that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this clip, take 201 off, go back to the browser, and then I'm going to pick up the companion one to that, which is the bottom. And again, if I get rid of that and go full frame, we now have the full frame. And that's the difference between scaled and full frame. Just to reiterate, I'll put it back. If you want to do a split of different images, use scaled media because it repositions the center of each of the splits. If you want to do a build of the same image, it could be in ninths, it could be in halves, go to full frame and it will automatically put that in exactly the right position for you on there. Okay, we've got two more. There's drop zone, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, it actually activates this drop zone so you can do a drop zone. I tend to put, I tend to prefer to put the stuff on the timeline rather than using the drop zones, but you can use the drop zone. And the other one on there is solid color. So if you just need a color to the top or bottom to put text on, you don't actually have to kind of like, you know, use an image, you can just use the solid color on there. You do have to have something on the timeline though. Okay, let's toggle that back to scaled media and then just have a quick look at the parameters. As you can see, we've got a build in and build out. Those you can toggle on and off. But what we've got here, we've got two other controls. We have a selection of animations. So you might say twist up and play that and it'll twist up. Again, they're all recentered, so you don't see the edge when the thing begins to animate. You just need to drop that on and just toggle on your choice. Like just to prove it, let's go twist left and it'll twist left. So all the centers are worked out for you and it starts because it's all in 3D, all the animations start edge frame on, which is really clever. And then we've got the speed and it goes from zero up to 30 frames on there. And we leave it at 20 because that's kind of, kind of a nice speed, we think. So you've got all the same on the bottom, apart from the slams, because you can't obviously slam the thing going out. Um, but you've got left in, right out, um, and it doesn't have to be the same as the animation in, which is really nice. So you can get something animate from the left in and go out towards the right on there. And the acceleration, as you would expect, is does a nice S curve if it's up 100%. Oh, yeah, let's, let's prove this. So we've got a twist, or if you bring it down to zero, it just does a linear 
clunky. Look at that slam. Yeah, no, I much prefer it back up at 100 on there. You get that nice deceleration. Okay, we've been through the scale medium in the drop zone. You can obviously pan the drop zone and scale the drop zone as you can do the media included in it. So I can actually say, well, you know, I actually want to move this a bit up, down. You might not like the fact it's just taken the center, um, which is really handy. And I've got, I can rotate that and I can scale it as well on there. So you're not just limited to the preset of taking the full frame image and just moving it up in this case on there. Same goes to the drop zone. And then we've got a few other controls. You can add a tint. We can change that by doing the color picker. And let's say we want a nice blue on there. And we've got some contrast. So you can do some really nice effects. So you can do some splits and have the, you can split her in half and have the top blue and the bottom red or something like that. And you can take all of the color out, make it black and white, pump up the contrast should you want to. So that enables you to some great effects without having to go into the color tab or add another plugin. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn those off and bring it back to normal on there. And you get that nice twisting animation. Now, when I said it was a clean timeline, what I didn't tell you is I've got two images down the timeline that I made earlier. Just have a quick look at those. So that's quad bottom right, which is the lady. And the guy with his thumbs up is quad bottom left, as you'd expect. And that's twist down and twist right. OK, so you know what's going to happen next. I'm going to pick this up and drop it on top. And there we have a three way split, which is great. Let's extend that to the same length on there. Really easy to use and we've done all the maths for you. So everything matches pixel perfect on there. Everything's timed. So if you keep the timing exactly the same through all the plugins, they'll all animate the same push off and push off. You can actually butt them up together. And I think you'll see that in, in the demo XML. But what I want to do now is add a border uh, to those. And if we go up and look at the borders and you'll find those in Insta splits in the title inspector. Now what I want is the quad. So that's 104, just drop that on and make that the same length. Okay, so here we go. Now what's wrong with that? Fairly obvious. If, if I click on it, then go to the inspector. I don't want this line. You can have you can have that line on, but I don't want it. I know that is vertical one. So we've got all the combinations to make up the splits that you'd want. And there's a three-way split on there. And let's say you're doing something complicated like nights, you'll find all the lines you can toggle on and off to your heart's content. So you can cover up all the joins of all the possibilities should you really want to, but I'm going to leave it like that for the time being. I can obviously change color. So I want them black. I can say I want a bigger line, make that bigger. And also I can add a drop shadow. I think, I mean, I quite like it with white and the drop shadow, but anything else I think is better to have the drop shadow off, but I, I will just put that back to white on there and bring the size that down around about 20 you know, 20 is quite nice so if you go back and look at the demo project you'll see it's just made up of layers and each one of those layers has got an effect remember the difference between scaled media and full frame full frame if you're making up a full frame scaled media if you're making up a multiple composite of different pictures really easy to use and we've tried to make it super flexible there are too many combinations to count or even to think about counting so i really hope you enjoy this plugin we've had good fun making it and it should be great for your 9x16 vertical videos for tiktok instagram youtube shorts you name it that's all for now goodbye <laughs>